right guys welcome back sorry I've uh, kinda gone missing for the past month I uh, just started a new job not long ago and they put me on the night shift so I've been trying to get uh, get adjusted to that and between that and the holidays it's been uh, a good three or four weeks since I've been able to make a video but uh, anyway just thought I would uh, get back and make a catch-up video for you guys I uh, got a couple packages in the mail so this is actually not going to be a picking video I uh, just wanted to update you guys with some of the packages that have showed up and uh, some of the packages I have uh, going out actually because uh, one of the last videos I made was that uh, lock trading video about uh, starting to trade some challenge locks with some of you pickers out there and the response to that was great so I'm just trying to catch up on everything but anyway I'll uh, show some of the locks that I've gotten in the mail the last little while so I got two to show you here uh, one package came in from Dirk in Germany actually um, it was a nice little Christmas package it said uh, I wish you and your family a very happy and joyous Christmas season and happy picking Dirk and the locks he sent me was uh, this sterling lock um, appears to be a challenge lock here's the bidding on the key for that one works nice nice and smooth and then he sent me a Wilka lock this one's got some some nice highs and lows for the bidding and uh, looking down into that uh, first chamber there it looks like I can see some security pins right off the hop so I'm assuming that this is going to be another challenge lock from him and then the coolest lock that I thought that he sent me was this one here now I've started playing with this one a bit off camera now when it first got sent to me it, um, it was a complete lock now I will admit that I did cut it in half for the uh, the only reason is because this is my very first dimple lock that I've I've ever gotten. So I wanted to uh, take advantage of the full lock and actually make two separate locks for me to play with. Just because I've I've never actually had a dimple lock before. So here is the bidding on the key for this one. So again, like I said, I've, I've actually taken advantage of it and cut it in half just because I wanted to. Uh, you know have two instead of one so what I'll probably end up doing is keeping one for myself to kind of practice and play with and once I pick uh, the other side of it I'll, I'll probably end up sending it out as as another challenge lock or something so Dirk buddy I, I don't know how how to thank you for for sending me my my very first dimple lock so I'm actually in the process of uh, uh, making some homemade dimple picks because I really really don't even have a dimple pick set yet so this one is is greatly greatly appreciated my friend I, I don't know how to thank you enough for this so again I, I hope you're okay with me cutting it in half and, and turning it into more of a practice lock uh, again like I said this is the first dimple lock I've ever had so um, much much thanks for for your Christmas package buddy and uh, I really appreciate that and um, actually I'll show you as we speak Sorry, a bit of a reach away from the name here, but I do have a package ready to go out into the mail for you tomorrow. So you got a return package heading your way, my friend. So to get to the second part of the uh, the locks that I got over over my bit of a hiatus here of missing, um, I got some locks sent to me from Jeff Moss. Him and I did a trade as well. So uh, a couple videos ago on his January locks, I think it was one or two. You can see some of the locks I sent him. So I just wanted to show you some of the locks that he sent me. So here is one of them here. It is a, uh, I believe, uh, Rush One lock. So I don't know much about these locks yet. I haven't really had a chance to play with any of them yet. So I'm not sure if they're standard or challenge or or what they are. But uh, but this one here looks like it's it's got quite a bit of wear and tear on the front. So I'm assuming it's going to be a circulating... Uh, challenge lock but the uh, key does work very very well it's uh, so this will be a fun one to pick next one he sent me was uh, looks like it's a uh, Schlag keyway it's uh, keys a little crunchy getting in and out of there so I'm, I'm going to assume that this is yet another challenge lock he sent me here is the bidding on the key for this one so it's uh, a little bit challenging it's it's uh, got some highs hidden by a couple lows and this one here is an SC1 keyway so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get this one picked on camera shortly this one here is a, a very cool lock um, 
trying to find the actual name of it. Uh, there's no actual name on it. So uh, Jeff, if you if you watch this uh, video, please comment. And let me know the the brand of this this core because what it is is uh, he sent two keys with it. One, which uh, this one here is the control key, which um, if you can see Oz obviously allows you to take it out of the core without you know taking the whole lock apart you guys know what they're all about and this one here is the operating key to actually operate the cylinder so um, really looking forward to getting this one picked on camera but uh, again Jeff if you could please comment on this let me know uh, the name brand of this one that'd be uh, appreciated Another one here that uh, he sent me, again, the key says arrow on it, so I'm going to assume that that's maybe the uh, the name brand of the lock. Uh, looks like this one's been around the block a few times too. Very, very heavy scratches on the front of it, so I'm going to assume that uh, this is yet another challenge lock. Again, I haven't picked any of these yet, so here is the bidding on the key for this one. So this one looks like it's... Uh, could be a bit of a challenge trying to get up into these ones with uh, um, with this nice low cut one right in front of it. So anyway, and there's one other thing he sent me. He didn't send me this lock. This is actually a lock that I uh, found out in a field actually, believe it or not, when me and my kids were taking a bit of a nature hike. Uh, found it on a trail. It was all beaten up and rusty and, and couldn't even see inside the keyway for all the rust. And I've been actually taking it apart and uh, starting to play with it a bit. You guys actually might remember this lock. I used it on my uh, my Christmas video, which was the last video I actually did on um, that little monster in the box thing I did. And I only had it pinned up with really one pin just for the sake of the video. Uh, one of the reasons I hadn't completed building it yet was because I didn't actually have an American lock key uh, for this series. So Jeff was kind enough to send me a American lock uh, six pin key for it. So just finished uh, getting this one set up tonight so this one's uh, ready to go again um, you know thanks thanks for the key Jeff I was uh, I was trying to find one and he just happened to have one that was pre-cut so just had to um, match up some pins and, and get it working with this key so I really appreciate that and um, yeah I don't know what else to say Jeff uh, these are great great selection of locks um, I hope you uh, hope you found the locks that I sent you useful. I know you were going to send some to your your key picking uh, friends, and then uh, maybe you know keep some for your own collection. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to say sorry it's been so long since I've made a video. I just too much things going on in life, I guess. But uh, I'm back now, I'm freeing up some time. My schedule's kind of open a little bit now, so hopefully I can get some of these locks picked on camera and. Um, yeah, start pumping out some videos again. So thanks for watching, guys, and everybody, keep her legal and stay safe. Thanks, boys.